introducing scorecards in Harness IDP that helps your software components to adhere to organizational and industry standards by providing quantifiable measure to software maturity and adherence to best practices. Hi, I am Dev Brother, your DevRel engineer for IDP module in Harness. Today, in this tutorial, we will be deep diving into the usage of scorecards in Harness IDP. Oh catalog page of harness idp and here you could see all my software components listed their types their owners and uh, in which life cycle they are uh, so i have added a service recently which is in uh, experimental service and here you could see there is the scorecard is not yet configured for this particular service and uh, there is no information related to scorecard so now let's try to uh, configure a scorecard for this service. Uh, for that, we need to go into admin panel and inside admin panel, you will find a scorecards tab. And here in the scorecards tab, you could see there are three things available, scorecards, checks and data sources. So basically data sources are third party providers, which provides you with data points. And these data points are in turn used as checks and collection of these checks results in uh, the scores in your scorecards. So basically these are the set of data sources that we support at present. And in this page, you could find information on the data points that are supported uh, for this particular data sources. And the data points could be uh, a type of number, Boolean or string, and you could have the input type and everything listed on this page. So now let's try to create a custom check, which I will be using for my scorecards for that particular service. So to create a custom check, let's give a name demo check for say PR type and the description would be mean PR mean time to merge a PR uh, the data source will obviously be github because that's where my whole development takes place and the data point would be mean time to merge the pull request in hours branch would be main and the operator value would be less than or equal to let's say for no uh, we'll give 72 hours and uh, this is the single rule i want to have uh, you could have multiple rules as well uh, for this particular check and then let's put developer productivity as tags and in case of missing data the result will fail so yeah let's uh, save the changes yeah, you could see here. Uh, okay, so I think let's give this the enter size as tag. So we'll do that. Yeah. So if I save the changes now, yeah, you could see there's a description, there is a tag, and the expression. So let's now create a scorecard. So let's give the name the scorecard as a demo video scorecard. And uh, let's not have a description for now. And uh, let's filter uh, the software component from the catalog entities we had. So the kind is obviously component and uh, the type is service and the owner for that is CCM play account. This is optional. Uh, this will be applied to all of your uh, kind and type uh, of catalog entities. And I'll add checks. Uh, basically, I will add a few checks. Uh, yeah, escalation is on calls test. Yeah, these are the checks I want to add and the custom checks that I created. I'll add. Uh, no, again. So, yeah, add selected checks. I think yeah, on this I forgot to add the selected checks. Yeah, yeah. So add selected checks and let's now. So you could see uh, the. Uh, checks name uh, that you have selected for and let's publish the scorecard so you could see the scorecard is now active let's now go and check uh, in our uh, software components if the check is visible or not so yeah as you could see here like there is a score for this uh, particular scorecard demo video scorecard and you could see which all checks are passing so the custom check docs passed and rest all the checks failed and this is the weightage of all the checks and i think for service maturity which was already present as a scorecard this is the score this is like uh, these all tests have passed uh, checks have passed and this is the weightage of each checks and like you know 
you could have uh, an improvement over time but since we created this now so uh, let's see for other software catalogs how does it how is it visible so yeah this is uh, for another uh, service called boutique front end and you could see there is a scorecard and the, there is a tracked improvement over time so this helps your team to uh, you know measure the improvements for a particular uh, software component over time and what all uh, best practices you have adhered to and what are the checks that is passing this is how uh, you use uh, scorecards and now let's say i want to disable uh, a scorecard for a particular uh, component or the whole scorecard itself so uh, it's, it's quite easy to do it let's say we go here and convert it into draft and now when we go back it won't uh, fetch uh, the scores for uh, the scorecard so yeah uh, you can see here yeah you could see here there is no more uh, demo video scorecard displayed here and the data only source for the active scorecard so yeah that is how you use uh, scorecards inside harness idp uh, please reach out to us uh, in case of any doubts and thank you for using harness idp